Hello, my name is Rachel. Um, I am doing my eighth day of video every day of April. Um, so, and I only miss one day, so I'm going to count that as a plus. Um, so today what I'm going to do is read a book that I probably read. I don't read my Bible every day. I read, probably read it more like every other day. Um, and that's just because whenever I get into it, I kind of like spend way too much time in it and um, neglect things that I need to take care of. So, um, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do my Bible study. It's a little different than what I've ever seen. I've never seen anybody do it like this before. Um, but this is, um, so I am... I really enjoy archaeology and learning, like, archaeology um, evidence from the Bible. And so, uh, what I like to do is read um, articles about, from um, websites that are, you know, accredited, um, biblical archaeology websites, and um, see what they find um, there. Um, so it's important to make sure when you're doing this kind of study that you're finding good websites and not just like a random websites, ones that, that you can trust. So, um, recently what I found is, um, some seals, um, and these would be seals that like when you're writing a letter and like they use wax, they pour wax on it and then they use like their signet ring and they press that down to um, basically it's like a signature saying this letter is from this person. Um, so I found some signet rings that are from people that are from the Bible. They found them in Jerusalem. Uh, so there's this one right here. It's a lion. Here. Yeah, it's a lion, and that is, um, they say it's made of jasper. Um, it is has the name Shema on it, and they found it in uh, old Jerusalem ruins. Uh, they said it belongs to someone in the Bible named Shema, um, who lived during um, 17... No, I'm sorry, 793 B.C., um, and they are found in 1 Kings 13.13, 13. Um, and they were a servant, a favorite servant, actually, of, uh, I believe it was Jeroboam II. Um, so I just think that's amazing that they found this ring that belonged to one of, uh, or seal, I guess, uh, that belonged to one of Jeroboam's servants. To me, that's amazing. Um, then there's some another signet ring right here. I don't know what that's made out of, but probably some rock. Um, so, Ashna is the name that's on the seal. And that is connected to... Um, okay, so Ashna was a another servant and he was a servant of a king named Ahaz um King Ahaz and um he was around during 700 732 BC and you can find his name in um 1st King 16 5 through 8 then Ahaz um, who is the king of the servant that we just talked about right here. This is actually his, um, not the ring, but the seal, like the wax seal right here. And they say there's actually a thumbprint or a fingerprint right there, which is really pretty cool. It could be that king's, uh, fingerprint. Um, so they have his ring or his, um, wax seal from his ring also. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out. I printed these off the computer. Like, I went to the website. I copied and pasted it onto Word. And then I printed them on here. 
And so now I'm going to cut them and I'm going to put them in my Bible. Um, I also have one more artifact here. And this is a tablet. Um, this tablet is... Uh, it's a list of a group of kings in Syria and uh, Palestine who paid this king, who wasn't a king of Israel, he was a different king, he, they paid him tribute. And in the Bible, in first, or Second Kings 16, 1 through, uh, sorry, Second Kings 16, 7 through 9, there's the first right there. It talks about the king of Israel paying tribute to a king, and he took um, gold and silver out of the temple, even though God told him, don't do that, don't give this king uh, gold or silver, and he did it anyways. And so this right here is a tablet that this foreign king wrote a list of, this is what this king gave me, and they gave me this, and that kind of thing. Um... So yeah, I just think that's amazing. I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to glue it in my Bible and I will show you how I do that. Okay, so I cut out the seal of uh, Shema, um, who is a servant of Jeroboam. And it actually says on the seal, they translated it to... Shem, uh, and then down here it says servant of Jeroboam. That's what they have translated on there. So um, this was the 793 to 782 BC. This is uh, Jeroboam uh, the II, I believe, and he was um, who took over the reign of um, a Solomon when he died. Jeroboam and Rehoboam um, both divided the kingdom. So this is that king. Uh, Jeroboam was considered a wicked king in the Bible during that time. So what I like to do is I can either take this piece of paper and I can tape it right here and I can write something in the margins about it. I'll probably write like the translation, like what it says right here. <clears throat> the lion is supposed to represent is supposed to be the lion of Judah, which I think is really really cool that there is a signet ring with a lot um, with a Judah's lion on it. That's amazing. Um, okay, so either I tape it here and I write something about it, and then I highlight it in my Bible, or I take an um, you can just take it regular index card um, and. Um, tape this on there and then put it right here tape it right in there and then write on it like this um, or I bought these things at Hobby Lobby and they're just um, oh they're for like stationery and they're little card stocks where I can take one of these out and these ones have maps on them so other ones have flowers and the galaxy on it but you take these out and if I just wanted to make it look you know real pretty or whatever um, I would tape that on there and then maybe take a scratch piece of paper and write down what I wanted to on there and then uh, tape it right in my Bible um, so that I have that information so I can see the signet ring there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll let you know what it looks like. Okay, so I just got done um, putting this in my Bible and I decided to use this um, cardstock because I like the design. I think it's pretty. It's like a map here. So um, here's the picture. Uh, the signet ring from the servant Shema and I just wrote right here um, signet ring translate into um, Shema servant of um, Jeroboam and then I wrote underneath that a picture of the lion of Judah Wow and then right here 
I highlighted um, a portion of the Bible that talks about um, when Jeroboam was becoming king. Um, I thought when I was uh, looking this up, I thought that Sh um, Shema, whose name is on the ring, I thought that uh, Shema's name was in the Bible. And there is um, places where Shema is in the Bible very close to these chapters here. So Shema could have been the Shema that they're talking about for Jeroboam's um, servant. But I didn't want to um, highlight uh, his name in case that wasn't true. So... Um, I just stuck with the Jeroboam right here because it's related to Jeroboam, the king, and highlighted where Jeroboam became king of Israel. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones, and I'll show you. This is blank, so I can, like, write some more stuff on here, or, you know, maybe I have something over here that I'll highlight and write some stuff on here. But that's what it looks like right now. So I'll go ahead and do the other signet rings and let you know what those looks like, look like. Okay, so I just got done with this uh, portion of it. And so this is the signet ring. It's called a bully, I believe, is when the wax is, has the impression of the ring. And so this impression is from King uh, uh, Hazel, A-H-A-Z, uh, uh, Haz. I don't know, Ahaz, let's just call it that. Okay, so this is King Ahaz, and he is mentioned in the Bible. And in 2 Kings 16, he is mentioned as the king of Judah. And so this is his ring right here, and the translation on this ring says, Behold to Ahaz, son of Yohaman, king of Judah. So it has King Ahaz on here, and it says he's the king of Judah, okay? And then down here, this is another um, signet ring, um, but this belonged to his servant, um, Yushana. Yushana. Um, Yushana's name is not in the Bible, but it does, this ring does say Ahaz on it. So translation says, belonging to Yushana, servant of Ahaz, which is this king up here. So there's two artifacts with the name Ahaz on it. Then on the back side here, um, this is a um, tablet that was found. And on this, this tablet is called um, the Annals of a king's name that's very difficult to pronounce. Um, Tiglath Pilisher the third. Um, so this tablet is his. He is not a um, Israelite, a Hebrew king. Um, so this tablet is just saying that different kings um, paid him, um, gave him supplies like food and um, clothing and sheep and stuff like that. Um, and so on this tablet, it says that one of the lines on here, it's, it's pretty long, but one of the lines on here says, it lists a group of kings in Syria and Palestine who paid him tribute of gold, silver, 10 multicolor garments, and there's a lot more. I just didn't put that on there. Um, this tablet is supposed to re be referring to the story in the Bible in um, 2 Kings chapter 16 verse 7 where it says, So Ahaz sent messengers to King Tiglath Pilisher, which is this king's name right here, of Assyria, saying, I am your servant and your son. March up and save me from the grasps of the king of Aram and the king of Israel, who are rising against me. Uh, Azar uh, took, also took the silver and gold found in the Lord's temple and in the treasuries of the king's pal palace and sent 
sent them to the king of Assyria as a bribe. So the king of Assyria listened to him and marched up to Damascus and captured it and deported its people to Kyre, but resigned to death. Resigned to death. Okay, so basically it's just talking about how king... Um, Ahaz, King Ahaz, um, took took gold and silver from the temple, and not in this book, but in I believe it's a uh, Chronicles. It talks about how the prophets had talked to him about not doing that um, to appease this foreign king, and he decided to do it anyways. And so he is classified as a. Um, an evil king, a king that didn't do what God wanted him to do because the prophets told him not to do this. This is one thing the prophets told him not to do and he decided to do it anyways. But this is the king that he gave the money to. This is his tablet. And on his tablet, he just has a list. He just has a list of like all the other nations that gave him tribute. So I just think that's amazing that we can see this is a foreign king's tablet. This is what we know that the king of Israel did at that time. I think it's amazing to be able to see that in archaeology and um, to see that God's word is truth, um, that what is written on these tablets from other kings can be, um, we can find truth in it in the Bible. So um, I hope that you um, got something from this video and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.